All right, I just said that really high. Oh, yeah, that hurt my ear. Ah. Oh. No, just kidding, man. I don't hurt myself. But anyways, everybody doing all right? You focus! <laughs> so, um, check it out. What do we got here? This is a McSwain Budweiser guitar. And uh, you'll notice it's wood on the back. What is it, Koa? Yeah. Redwood body. And uh, it's, it's tone chambered. Check it out. It's got Budweiser cans stretched across it. And these are actual, there's, I, I mean, I thought it was just the bottle caps, but there's actually a bottle top and the bottle cap all in place here for the volume knob and the tone knob. And this is a toggle. And look at that. Look at that. That's like a really old style, old school embedded <laughs> cap. Not in what do you call it? The what? The pull tab. The pull tab from an old Budweiser can. Isn't that crazy? Stephen McSwain is a close friend of mine. He's an awesome dude. And he builds amazing guitars. These are amazing. Let's get into the details here. Tone chambered, redwood body. It's a uh, matchbooked. That's it. See, there we go. Matchbooked Koa. And uh, it's a mahogany neck and an ebony fretboard. And look, the Budweiser crown for inlays. At 1950s, steel Budweiser cans, that's what it is. Crazy, man. Rio Grande, Texas pickups. So let's hear what this puppy sounds like, because it looks ridiculous. Steven has also made guitars for Tommy Lee and Duff McKagan and uh, a whole slash. He's made guitars for a lot of people, because he makes amazing guitars. And again, like I said, he's an awesome dude. And uh, why is it here? Because they're awesome and expensive. <laughs> okay, I'm in the trouble position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on this guitar man um because i get a lot of lessons a lot of people asking how i do the beginning of flipping out from the video in 1989 when i got hair down to here and a stupid shirt on but anyways um and that guitar is and the guitar is a uh it's not a kramer it's it's just a it's just parts i bought a neck i bought a body i bought a pickup i bought a floyd rose and i put it all together because i was crazy and that guitar has since become a coffee table in somebody else's art project and I haven't seen it since. Oh, wait a minute. I did see it since. I, I actually inherited the coffee table, but then I threw it out because it didn't make any sense. So, nice and slow. Right? Check it. So, harmonic, notes. Harmonic, note. Harmonic, notes. Harmonic, notes so I don't know how I came up with that because I'm a knucklehead sometimes but uh, that's basically what it's the premise of the whole idea some harmonic when you can note when you can't so the whole piece kind of goes something like this <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. I think 
That nut is throwing me off. <laughs> when I'm on a roll and I screw up, but then I recover and it's just okay. But anyways, <laughs> it's a beautiful McSwain guitar. Um, there's gonna be, go to actually, what's, the, what's his website? McSwainGuitars.com, some of the coolest guitars you've ever seen in your life. So check it out and, uh, and, don't, and you know what? It's like every guitar today, it sounds amazing through the evil robot. So thanks for hanging out, man. Have a good guest day!